Hello, 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 and welcome to today's episode of Her Version. This podcast is dedicated to sharing stories of struggle to triumph, a platform that allows individuals to tell their truth in order to inspire and uplift others. For those of you that are new to this podcast and like content like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button, follow, like, and share. I am your host, Sabrina Victoria. Let's jump right in. Hello, and thank you for joining us today for this episode of Her Version. The Her Version platform is built on storytelling and the understanding that many times our greatest learning experiences come from listening to other people's stories. Today, I am speaking with an amazing woman named Karen. Karen's journey is one of tears, heartache, pain, and unforeseen occurrences. Suffering through the death of her youngest son due to SIDS, an unfaithful partner, unsettling disputes with her family, job loss, and breast cancer, Karen fell face first into self-development. She quickly learned that her struggles had created a strong resilience inside her that led her to understand her life's mission. She is now the owner of Emergent Soul, a community that encourages people to feed their mind, body, and spirit. With a drive to change the world, Karen is here today to share her story, her strength, and remind us the importance of our struggles. Welcome, Karen. What's the number one lesson that you've learned from life? Mm. Number one lesson in life that I have learned uh, at this stage where I am right now is that um, tomorrow's not promised. Uh, Don't spend time um, in in anger or hatred. Be present. Um, Respect every precious moment in time that you have. Uh, I have a friend who, who, who who's also a speaker and she talked about uh, heartbeats. You know, we have a limited number of heartbeats. So think about, you know, is your heartbeat worth something or if it's not, you know, preserve those heartbeats and be present. You I know, love so that. It's being, you know, so it's being present. So right now here today, it's, that's what life is about. It's tomorrow's not promised. <laughs> And what, you know, what, what in this life is going to help me live my life to the fullest? So I'm not just what I say existing, but really living life abundantly. And that doesn't always mean financial, but love, health, happiness, you know, that and making sure I'm making every one of my heartbeats make a difference. (laughs) Yes. Oh, I love that. Um, You only have a certain amount of heartbeats. Mm -hmm. It's a good way of putting it. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Heart to, heart to stop tomorrow. Yes. You know, so our yes. hands making the best of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So um, you just mentioned, um, you know, health and mm-hmm. whatever else you said, happiness. When you think about all of the things that make up life mm-hmm. and who we are as people or as humans, what do you think defines success? Hmm. That's a good question. And I think that the answer will with, will differ for many different people. Mm-hmm. Um, but success for me today is being able to, uh, I guess, accomplish a goal that I set for myself and be like, oh my gosh, I didn't think I could do it but I did it, (laughs) you know, even the smallest of thing, you know, overcoming something that um, I was fearful of, you know, just anything that I, I used to say, no, I can't do that, but I could do it. That I think is success. Uh, uh, This is going to sound silly, but for the last 20 years, uh, my my second marriage, we were married for 20 years and my ex-husband loved mushrooms. I, could not stand mushrooms to the point where if he would buy mushrooms, I would make him put them on the bottom of the fridge because I didn't want to see mushrooms. I'm like, that's fungus. That's nasty. I don't want to see mushrooms. 
didn't even want to see them literally. So I will say about a month ago, a friend was like, you need to try mushrooms. Oh, that's fungus. I'm not eating that. That's disgusting. I'm not eating that. Today, I go to the grocery store. Today? <laughs> Today, meaning in 2022, okay. like the last two months. I will go to the grocery store and buy organic mushrooms and I cook with mushrooms. So for me, that's a success because I changed my mindset on something that for the last 20 years, couldn't do it. No, no. What was the turning point? Did you have them on some really delicious pizza one day or what happened? No, they were just, hey, you just need to cut it up. If you slice them real thin, you really can't taste them anyway. And I was like, oh, I don't want to eat this anyway. Cooked, ate. I was like, you know what? It's really not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> Call my ex-husband. Hey, guess what? <laughs> I had mushrooms. <laughs> you know what's so funny about this? And my fiance will totally attest to this is the same story. No, I don't do mushrooms. Because, <laughs> because um, he loves mushrooms. Mm -hmm. And um, I refused to eat them. And probably in 2021, I don't know what the turning point was, but I want to say mine was on pizza because he always did half okay. mushroom. Mm -hmm. And I think one day I wanted like an extra slice and it had freaking mushrooms on it. I ate it. And I like took, you know, some of them off and I'm like, eh, whatever. There's like a few little halves in there and I ate it. I'm like, wow, these are actually pretty freaking good. <laughs> so yeah, I tried it one day cooking. I like bought them on a whim mm -hmm. and tried it in a recipe or something. And now literally I'm not even kidding. I eat mushrooms every single day, every day in something. I'll put them in my eggs. I'll put them on top of salmon. I'll put them in the pasta. Mm -hmm. I'll put, I even put it in the ground beef to make mm -hmm. it so that there's more like tacos I'll uh, dice them up and my son had the same thing where he you know because I didn't eat them he didn't eat them <laughs> and I remember the first time he um, we were making tacos with ground beef and I was chopping up mushrooms and mm -hmm. he, he was doing the ground beef and he's like what are those mushrooms for and I'm like mm -hmm. I put it in the ground beef he's like no you don't I was like yeah I do he's mm -hmm. like no don't you do not do that i'm like i have been putting mushrooms in our tacos for over a year now you have been eating mushrooms he's like no you're lying all this stuff <laughs> he literally almost got we're both very emotional mm -hmm. he actually got like flush like visibly upset mm -hmm. when i poured the mushrooms <laughs> into the freaking <laughs> ground beef because <laughs> mm -hmm. he thought i was ruining the mushroom or the, the, the tacos yeah mm -hmm. And then it looked perfect. You can't even tell that they're in there. We had them and they tasted identical. And he was just blown away. Mm -hmm. That is so funny. Look at us. So, see, so that's success. And it has to do with mindset. <laughs> yes. It's not much, but it's mindset. So for me, that's what, I, that's what I call success. But yes. So now we eat mushrooms. But it really is that we were able to change our mindset on something that we were so adamant that we would never do. That's Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, that is so cool. Wow. Bonding over mushrooms. <laughs> I love it.